Andy has a question for you, I think. He says, on Mac Geek Cab 1049, Dave mentioned that some ISPs are starting to offer home internet connections that are more than a gigabit of bandwidth. That got me wondering, how much bandwidth is actually useful to pay for? What kind of use would a connection of even one gig really make, or what, what kind of use would a connection of even one gig really make a difference for? My thought is, has been that in most cases, whenever I've looked at download speeds, it never comes close to saturating even a 250 meg connection. My assumption is always been that there must be upstream bottlenecks outside of my house. So when is it worth paying for more? I'm wondering if any of you have thoughts or experiences on that topic. Obviously, as a geek, I want the bigger number on the bandwidth, but I would also like a smaller number on the invoice. Yeah, me too. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I pay for a gig and it's not cheap here. Yeah, so I also have a gigabit connection here. Um, I I think about this a lot, right? This is a great question, Andy. When I got to the point where I had 300 megabits per second down, at my house and and this was still with a cable connection so i think it was 300 down in like 10 or 12 up or something pitiful i remember thinking on the downstream this 300 is enough i wish i could have the upstream to match but at the time that wasn't an option and and then i did uh it, my cable company which uh, in our area is xfinity allowed me to move up to a gigabit down and a whopping 40 megabits up or 35 or whatever it was. And it was like, okay, so I paid for the 35 up and it happened to come with a gig down. But since that moment in time, I have not noticed a real functional difference in downstream speed since I moved from like moving up to from wherever I was before moving up to let that whatever 300 number was at the time. That I noticed it like made a difference when I was downloading, you know, disk images or updates or things like that. Um, and then when fiber showed up, they had it's all symmetrical. Right. So my gigabit down is also a gigabit up. I thought about going with the 250 up and down when fiber came, but it was like a ten dollar a month difference between the two. And so I was like, well, I mean for 10 bucks a month and I get to say I have symmetrical gigabit fiber. Well, I'm going to do that. Right. But if it had been half the price, I would have absolutely just gone with 250 up and down and probably wouldn't notice a difference. I, I think if you told me today, Hey, look, we've been lying to you. Um, we artificially inflate your speed test numbers. Cause that's the only time when I really see like, you know, full bandwidth back and forth. We artificially have been inflating your speed test numbers, but everything else has been at 250. I, I I'd believe you. Like be like, yeah, okay. Because so many other things it, where I really want more speed is on my uploads. Uh, and like when I'm uploading the show or whatever, even uploading the video or not the video, the audio of this show, I can't upload the video to Apple uploading the video or the audio of this show to Apple. It rarely goes at gigabit. Um, and Apple is like the best one out there. It's usually more like half a gig is the speed that I get when I'm uploading. When I upload the video of this to Spotify, it goes at like maybe 300 megabits per second. Like, it, you know, there's there's other things on the internet that slow this stuff down. So, um, yeah, yeah. I you know, I do notice, I, to, to answer the question, how much is enough, I can certainly only answer that for me. When I'm at a hotel that has like 50 megabits per second or slower, I notice it. But 50, but above 50, when I'm getting to that, you know, it gets close to 75 or 100 megabits or above at a hotel, I, it, it just feels normal to me. It's like, yep, it's just it just works. So that, but I love yep. having more speed. 